Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Good morning, my friends. God has blessed us to see another beautiful morning for which we are grateful. All of us should be upon our knees now saying, Thank you, Lord, for letting us see this brand new day. The coronavirus has impacted our lives, not only in one city, state, or country, but it impacted the lives of people all over the world. Many have suffered and many with the virus and many have died. But my friend, let us remember, God is still in control. First to the Christians, let us remember and be mindful of others. Put your mask on, wear your mask. When you go out into the public, don't be afraid to put it on because wearing the mask or wearing a covering over your nose and mouth will help someone else to be able to not receive from you which might be the virus. So let us pray for one another and always remember that these victims of the virus are only a sign to let us know that disease troubles Heartaches and pains are still a part of our lives. So let us pray for the safety of all that are concerned. And as we pray, don't forget the doctors and their assistants. Don't forget all of those who are working to try to make our lives better. Pray for them as well. So if you will, where you are, just bow your heads. God, and ask him to bless each and every one. Father God, we come in the name of our Christ today, as we always do, remembering that thou art the God, and besides thee there is none other. We ask now that thou would look upon these your servants, O God, and give us, O God, the strength and an endurance, as well as the information that we need to pass on to our neighbors. We ask, O Heavenly Father, that you would let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, in Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. Clap your hands wherever you are and say thank you, Jesus, just one more time. We have a song for you today. This is, this is from one of our lovely members, Sister Tamsin. is going to come and give you my favorite song, or one of my favorite songs, Take Me So Much, Take Me to the king, for the king is certainly in charge today. Today I want to talk to you about the king. I want to remind you that he's the one So I've chosen for our message today, someone cares. And if you want to follow through with scripture, we take our text from Psalms 142, verses 4 and 5, Mark 4 and 38, and 1 Peter 5 and 8. And they read as such, I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. Refuse failed me. No man cared for my soul. I cried in the Lord. I said, Thou art my refuge. Then in Psalms, uh, in Mark, rather in Mark 4 and 38, we find these words, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And then finally, 1 Peter tells us, Cast all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. 
It's what we want to get to this morning. The hour that we are experiencing all of our viruses, there are many times when individuals' hearts bleed and bodies are aching. It certainly is one of those times. Many times, though, when our feet stumble and our eyes weep, when our knees shake and shoulders droop, even souls perish simply because folk get the feeling that nobody seems to really care about them. And I'm sure that there are many out today who feel that nobody cares about their circumstance or about their plight in life. For many, oh, Heavenly Father, there are many who, who have not been chosen or have been numbered with those that are sick because they're in areas and they're in circumstances of such that those that are keeping track do not get to them. But I'd love you to know for those that are distressed, those that are defeated and discouraged, those that are dejected or despondent, don't worry about those. Turn your, your thoughts unto the Lord, for he does care for us all. This attitude and this feeling is caused by Satan. You do, you, you do know that he is our chief enemy. You do know that he is our adversary, that he endeavors to conceive anybody and everybody who can to think and to even believe that there is nobody who is concerned about anything or any person except themselves. No one is interested in anything except their own situation and their own problems, not even though they may be true all too often with too many people. Nevertheless, I need to remind you that there is one who cares and who always cares for us all. Let me tell you a few things about your situation. The devil will impute up into uh, to your lives many things that causes you to turn away from God. Old man Satan will do all things that he can get you for yourself. This is not a time to feel sorry for ourselves, but a time to put our trust in the Lord God Almighty. When joy is gone, when your faith becomes steep, and your days become dreary, he tells you that nobody cares. When your neighbors become long and your pockets are empty, don't worry about the stimulus money, but worry about what God can do in your life. I want you to know that Satan is a liar today. Somebody does care. Somebody is concerned. Somebody does understand what is going on in your life. Satan will try his hardest to recruit members for his own, what I call, a poor man's club. Well, now, I don't about you, but I've had my peace overturned by perplexity, and my laughter has given away to weeping. And I've had to turn to that, that old phrase, poor man blue. I've had my nerves wrecked by frustration, and my patience hassled by tribulation. My health been afflicted with disease and my conscience has been tormented by past lifestyles, but yet God let me stay here 88 years. Satan has a plan of telling you that your past will cause you to believe that nobody cares. Well, my friend, let us look at the text. Here is David, forced to take shelter in a cave. First, he is disowned. He is deserted by his friend. Heaven Peter, an outlaw by his friend. No man would know him. Everybody was shy of him. He looked on his right hand for an advocate, and there was no one there. He looked on his left, and there was no one there. Jonathan had appeared in defense of him, and he had almost lost his life. Because of this, my brethren, nobody was willing to venture in defense of his uh, innocency. Oh, my friend, how many have been deceived by such shallow friends? Those who are gone when winter comes. Those who run when the going get rough. But then David, who knew, who looked to, so in the, in the Lord, he was in this cave and he prayed, that thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Yes, God is our refuge and our portion in the land of the living. David said, the cave I'm in is but a poor refuge. For the Lord thy name is a strong tower, 
so I run unto him. My sisters and my brothers and my friends can become cold and indifferent in heartbeat. But my thought by the day that Jesus said, never leave us, nor would he forsake us. So the question is for you and I today, does Jesus really care? That's why I want to take me to the king, because I know that Jesus really cared. Just ask the man who had a withered hand. Over in Mark chapter 3, you will find a hand that was swung helplessly and hopelessly at the man's side. He had a hand which had uh, couldn't do no labor. He, nothing he could do with it but just let it swing. A hand which was of no personal benefit to himself, and, had, and not only himself, but to those that were around him. That is, it had until Jesus came by. Does Jesus really care? The woman who had suffered an issue of blood for 12 long years, who had spent all that she had, and was nothing better. In fact, her health grew worse. But one day, Jesus passed by. Does Jesus really care? Just ask the man of Gadabra, who was possessed with demons, who dwelt among the tombs, who continually tortured himself and cutting himself, and who brought great fear to all who passed by. But my brothers and sisters, one day Jesus came by to him. Does Jesus really care? Just ask the man who was sick of the palsy, who was unable to walk or run, who was totally dependent upon others to minister to his needs. He was confined to a bed, that is, until he was brought to Jesus. Does Jesus really care? Asked Jairus, one of the rulers of the synagogue, who had a little daughter he deeply loved, a little girl, beautiful little girl, that was and restore does Jesus really care then I stopped by the tell you I asked the 5,000 fed with just five loaves and two fishes my brothers and sisters Jesus can take lunch and turn it into a beautiful dinner I tell you God can change your life in the same way oh how much does he care then uh, let me take you a little further I asked that woman who had been bound by the spirit of infirmity for 18 years. How much does Jesus care? Go ahead and ask a certain man of Jericho, who had been blind and sat by the wayside begging. How much does he care? Ask Zacchaeus when he climbed down from the sycamore tree, and the Lord said, Today I shall abide with you. How much does he care? Go and ask Mary and Martha as they were weeping and, and they were wondering what was going to happen next. But when, they, when Jesus came by, he came by because when he did, Martha said, Lord, if you had been here, he said, don't worry about it. I'm still in control. And he still called Lazarus by his name and he got up from the grave. How much do he care? He cared for you even in your situation right now yes yes I tell you he cares he cares about your every breath he cares about your every heartbeat he cares about your every move he cares about your every meal your every desire he cares about your hurt he cares about your dilemma he cares and I am convinced that he cares today because he kept me all of these years even in my bad time Jesus was there watching over me. He came to us one day to let us know that he cares. And when he came, he came and taught us how to live. How to get along with one another. He taught us how to trust in the Lord. And then he bore his cross up on Calvary. Not he, but your cross and my cross. Yes, he died for us because he lives. He rose from the dead. But my brothers and sisters, he so much cared that he got up from the grave on that Sunday morning and said, all power in heaven and earth is in my hands. He did take your worst and my worst, but he gave me his best. 
He took my hatred, but he gave me his love. He took my burdens, but he gave me my blessings. He took my sorrows, but he gave me my joy. Then he took my gifts, and he gave me his grace. Yes, he cares. I agree with those that were in the ship, Master. Carest thou not perish? No, we shall not perish, because I am the master of it all. Peace. Peace, be still. Brother Moses, would you just give me just a little chord of peace? Peace, be still. Shadow with blessing. so much peace be still even in this land in which we live now peace be still my friend I want to close out today by telling you again and again trust in the Lord and lean not unto thine own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct our path come on and let us hear the announcement for today Good morning, Good Samaritan. Today I'd like to put a plea out to you for the ways to give with tithes and offering to the Good Samaritan Church. Every man according to his purpose in his heart, so let him give not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. 2 Corinthians 9, 7. Please send your checks made payable to Good Samaritan Missionary Baptist Church or GSNBC 2407 Capitol Street, Vallejo, California, 94590. Or you can sign up on the Givelify app using your cell phone, tablet, or computer and search for the Good Samaritan Missionary Baptist Church of Vallejo, California to give any amount that you please. On behalf of myself, Dr. Slade, and the Good Samaritan family, we would like to thank you in advance for your continued support of the Good Samaritan Missionary Baptist Church Ministries we pray that God's blessing upon you and your family, Pastor Dr. M.D. Slate. Now, my friend, there may be someone out there that's interested in this ministry. And if you are, we ask you to call the church office, 707-55-896. Leave your name, your telephone number, someone will contact you. But we do encourage all who know the for the United